I want you to always think of Mrs. Martin, and I want you always to remember that donkey. Never forget that fear and desire can lead you into life's biggest trap if you're not aware of them controlling your thinking. To spend your life living in fear, never exploring your dreams, is cruel. To work hard for money, thinking that it will buy you things that will make you happy is also cruel. To wake up in the middle of the night terrified about paying bills is a horrible way to live. To live a life dictated by the size of a paycheck is not really living a life. Thinking that a job makes you secure is lying to yourself. That's cruel, and that's the trap I want you to avoid. I've seen how money runs people's lives. Don't let that happen to you. Please don't let money run your life. People's lives are forever controlled by two emotions, fear and greed. The ability to sell, to communicate to another human being, be it a customer, employee, boss, spouse, or child, is the base skill of personal success. Some people are terrified of snakes. Some people are terrified about losing money. Great opportunities are not seen with your eyes. They are seen with your mind. When you know you are ignorant in a subject, start educating yourself by finding an expert in the field or a book on the subject. Rule 1 you must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. Or if you're the kind of person who has no guts, you just give up every time life pushes you. If you're that kind of person, you'll live all your life playing it safe, doing the right things, saving yourself for some event that never happens. Then you die a boring old man. You'll have lots of friends who really like you because you were such a nice hard-working guy. But the truth is that you let life push you into submission. Deep down you were terrified of taking risks. You really wanted to win, but the fear of losing was greater than the excitement of winning. Deep inside, you and only you will know you didn't go for it. You chose to play it safe. Cash flow clubs are not for those who want to get rich quick. Cash flow clubs are there to support the long-term mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, and financial changes a person needs to go through. We all change and evolve at different rates of speed so you are encouraged to go at your own speed. The briar patch is our fear and greed. Confronting fear, weaknesses, and neediness by choosing our own thoughts is the way out. Get a safe job. Don't make mistakes. Don't take risks. The more security you seek, the less freedom you have. The people with the most security are in jail. That is why it is called maximum security. The path is the goal. In other words, finding your path in life is your goal in life. Guilt is worse than greed, for guilt robs the body of its soul. A job is only a short-term solution to a long-term problem. Most addictions are attempts to find happiness in people's souls. This. Once a president or congressman is elected, we the taxpayers take care of them for life. I ask myself, if they are qualified to be our leaders, why can't they take care of themselves? Real estate investing, even on a very small scale, 
remains a tried and true means of building an individual's cash flow and wealth. Why in the world would someone say, I can't afford it or I can't do it to something they want? Why would someone deny themselves the things they want? It makes no logical sense. He believed that the words I can't afford it shut down your brain. It didn't have to think anymore. How can I afford it? Opened up the brain and forced it to think and search for answers. But most importantly, he felt the words, I can't afford it, were a lie. And the human spirit knows it. The human spirit is very, very powerful, he would say. It knows it can do anything. By having a lazy mind that says, I can't afford it, a war breaks out inside you. Your spirit is angry, and your lazy mind must defend its lie. The spirit is screaming, come on. Let's go to the gym and work out. And the lazy mind says, but I'm tired, I worked really hard today. Or the human spirit says, I'm sick and tired of being poor. Let's get out there and get rich. To which the lazy mind says, rich people are greedy. Besides it's too much bother. It's not safe. I might lose money. I'm working hard enough as it is. I've got too much to do at work anyway. Look at what I have to do tonight. My boss wants it finished by morning. Job is an acronym for just over broke. Failure is part of the process of success. People who avoid failure also avoid success. In the big picture, life is not about grades. Life is about what you choose to study. Remember, the easy road often becomes hard, and the hard road often becomes easy. For winners, losing inspires them. For losers, losing defeats them.